Overview Lower urinary tract obstruction, or LUDO, sometimes called bladder outlet obstruction, or BOO, is a fetal condition that is diagnosed during pregnancy. This condition primarily affects the urinary system, but can also impact the growth of other organs, particularly the lungs, because these systems are closely linked during development. Normal development. In the womb, the fetus is cushioned by amniotic fluid, which allows its chest to expand. At 20 weeks, it begins to practice breathing movements, inhaling amniotic fluid instead of air. Similar to filling a water balloon, the inhaled fluid stretches the lungs, promoting airway development and helping to thin the tissue so gas exchange can occur, an important step in lung development. Nearly all the amniotic fluid that the fetus is breathing is produced by urination. Normally, the fetal kidneys produce urine, which flows into the bladder and then leaves the body through a tube called the urethra. Ludo. Ludo occurs when there's an interruption to the urinary outflow, making it hard or even impossible for urine to leave the bladder. As urine backs up, it puts pressure on the kidneys. This can lead to mild or severe renal conditions, such as significantly enlarged kidneys or multicystic dysplastic kidneys. Distended organs can push against the diaphragm, compressing the lungs. Damage to the kidneys or total obstruction of the urethra can lead to a complete absence of amniotic fluid. With less fluid, the lung tissue is unable to stretch and grow properly. The reduced cushioning makes it even harder for the chest to expand. This and the internal compression from the diaphragm can significantly stunt lung growth. With less room in the uterus, the fetus can develop physical deformities, such as shorter limbs or facial malformations. In some cases, parents may consider not continuing the pregnancy. In other cases, specialized care helps to protect the fetal kidneys and allow the lungs to develop. Treatments. The most common treatment for Ludo is placing a shunt, which drains urine from the bladder into the womb in an effort to maintain the amniotic fluid around the fetus. Sometimes, a temporary measure such as draining the urine via a needle in the bladder, called vesicocentesis, can be used. Another option is amnioinfusion where sterile fluid is introduced into the amniotic sac to increase fluid volume and reduce lung issues. These treatments can improve chances of fetal survival, but there still may be long-term health challenges. Newborns may face issues with kidney function, requiring dialysis or kidney transplant, as well as an increased risk of medical complications. To manage these potential complications, your baby's care team may include neonatologists, pediatric transplant doctors, and pediatric specialists in urology, nephrology, and surgery. Your doctor will discuss these possibilities with you, so you can make the best decisions for your situation.